Have you ever heard about the Safe Moon token? Well, today on that Tico Guy, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually mine Safe Moon and much more. Stay tuned. Okay, so maybe some of you have heard about the Safe Moon token. So today I'm just going to be exploring what this is and if it's really safe. And is it really going to the moon? So on my screen, this is the Safe Moon official website. So here you can actually buy the coin or swap it out for another coin. You can also see what the coin is about. So the Safe Moon protocol is a community focused, fair launched DeFi token. DeFi is decentralized finance, okay? So reflection, 5% is reflected to all holders for passive income. This LP acquisition, 5% is added to the liquidity pool. And there is a burn wallet that receives a portion of the reflections to never be seen again. So basically I do have a wallet and the first thing you must do is it's very important that you get a wallet, otherwise you will not be able to mine this coin. I do have a video on how to set up Trust Wallet and you can get SafeMoon on Trust Wallet as well. However, on SafeMoon now they have actually released their own wallet which is called the SafeMoon Wallet and you can get it on Google Play for Android users or on the Apple Store for Apple users. So here basically what happened, the wallet continues to increase your funds. It, the more you hold the coins, the more they start to increase due to the reflections made, okay? So here it actually tells you that holders earn passive rewards through static reflection as they watch their balance of safe moon grow indefinitely. So that is exactly what I am talking about. Every time I refresh my wallet, I see it always increasing bit by bit. Okay, I had actually bought some Safe Moon coins back in April of this year. I am not advising you to do the same. I am not even advising you that you have to mine this coin. This is not any financial advice. As I always say, this is just knowledge and information for you to be able to make some educated choices. It doesn't mean it's going to be good or bad. If we take a look at coin market cap, the Safe Moon price has been going down. It is a very volatile coin, so do keep that in mind. If we go to all, here you can see that this coin basically started on the exchange on the 10th of March, and back then the price was significantly lower than it is today. There was a spike at around April time, which is where I actually had purchased some coins uh, through Trust Wallet and with Pancake Swap, and now the price, as you can see, is all over the place. So it's going up and down and up and down. So it, this is still early times for Safe Moon, I believe, but it may have some potential. Now, when you are setting up your Trust Wallet, if you're going to use Trust Wallet, you may need to con uh, copy this contract ID here in order to add it as a custom token if it's not found in the list of tokens on Trust Wallet. So you may need to just copy this address here, the contract address. This is based on the Ethereum network and you will need to add that as a custom token if it's not automatically found in your list. However, as I just said earlier, you can also download the SafeMoon wallet. It will provide you with the wallet address and you will be good to go for mining. So the next bit, how can you actually mine in inverted commas this coin. Now, when I always say mine, I'm always saying it in inverted commas, in air quotes, because you cannot literally mine this coin directly. You're going to be using unmineable, as you can see on my screen, and now SafeMoon is now available for mining, and this came out on the 26th of November. So now you can also mine SafeMoon. So we're just gonna to go to the coin section, and here you're gonna search for SafeMoon. This is based on the BEP20 network. Here is a warning telling you that SafeMoon is a highly volatile asset, so your daily mining rewards may be inconsistent due to a large price fluctuation. So here if I calculate my hash rate, which is 472 mega hash with my upgraded 7 GPU mining rig, here is telling me that I would be making around 7.6 million SafeMoons a day. So this takes me back to the Shiba Inu times when the price was relatively low compared to today. And I used to make around 2 to 2.4 million Shiba Inu coins a day. So this is kind of taking me back to those times 
where you're going to get loads of safe moon because at the moment the price of safe moon isn't that high although on the charts here the ranking is at 207 on coin market cap so this could actually have some potential in the future as well you can also see the team here uh, there are these guys this guy here that seems like he has some superpowers they also do have uh, coming soon an exchange as well which is further down here on the home page and the safe moon exchange is going to come very soon as well so that would be interesting to see because it would make it much more easier for you to swap out the coins to something else as well and to be able to buy and sell the coins if that is what you wish to do so back to unminable here once you've searched for the safe moon coin it will tell you what you need to do in order to get set up and running so here you would put in the token that you're going to be mining which is in this case safe moon and your wallet address that you would get from the safe moon wallet or from trust wallet depending on which, which wallet you're using or which exchange you're using, you'd put that address in there, full stop, the worker name, and hash a referral code so that you can decrease your pool mining fees from 1% to 0.75%. If you'd like to use my referral code, I'm gonna leave that down in the description below as well so that you can reduce that fee. Here, I'm gonna open up my mining rig and I've already created a script to show you exactly what this is going to be like, okay? So I've created my script here. I am using Phoenix Miner. I am currently using version 5.7b. I know that there is now 5.9b, but most of the changes were for AMD graphics cards, which I am currently not using, so it's not going to make that much of a difference for me. So I'm remaining with the stable version I've been using for a while now, which is the 5.7B of Phoenix Miner. You can use LOL Miner. You can also use T-Rex if you wish as well. I'm just using Phoenix Miner because it does seem to have a slightly lower fee than the other ones at 0.65%. However, you can use any other miner you wish. Obviously the syntax will vary slightly, but I'm going to be showing you this on Phoenix Miner. So phoenixminer.exe minus the pool. I'm going to be mining on the ET hash algorithm on the unminable pool so here obviously if you are going to be using any of the other algorithms maybe you want to use your cpu for example you'd go on this random x tab for cpu and here it will tell you how to change that and that would be rx.unminable.com colon three 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 instead of what i put in there which was for the et hash algorithm that i would be mining on so eth-unminable.com colon three 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 three. My wall dash wall is safe moon, the safe moon coin, and that is my wallet address dot techo guy moon underscore rig two. So I identify the rigs. The worker name can be anything really, just for you to identify, especially if you've got more than one system, which system you are mining on. Hash. I am using my friend's referral code there so that I can get a lower fee. As I said, you can use mine. It is down below in the description if you wish. And all the rest I have left as default. Just open that up a bit more there. So this is the temperature stop basically at 83 degrees. This I I have changed minus TT to zero. So that doesn't try to change the temperature on its own. And the coin in this case is still ETH because you are not mining safe moon. As I said at the start of the video, you're not mining safe moon directly. It's not a mineable coin. You are mining Ethereum in this case. I am mining Ethereum and I am getting paid out in the safe moon token. So I'm just going to close down that script. It's already saved and I'm going to start it up. Here I'm going to get all my video cards, which on this rig is five video cards. And I've got another rig with the other two which will give me an extra 200 mega hash that's going to start creating the DAG file right there and it's just going to start mining away until it appears on the unminable site. So here you would put in your safe moon wallet address and search for it and then that will start to generate your balance. That will take up to 20 to 30 minutes on average after you've started mining. So I've just started so it's not going to appear immediately once I search for my wallet address. So do give that a bit of time and have some patience until it actually starts showing up on the unminable pool. So what I'm going to do is just to show you how to do that as well, I am going to copy my SafeMoon wallet address here and just paste it in to the unminable website here and search for that. And here you can now see after some time has passed that I have started mining on the pool.
Teco Guy Moon Rig 2 and this was actually faster than I had anticipated because normally it does take 15 to 20 minutes to show up at least but this seemed to work after just two or three minutes so that's great and here it will give you your mega hash the calculated has not yet settled because it's only still in the beginning so the calculated is still very low down here the dotted line and that is what you're actually going to get paid out in so do give that some time to settle and it will go up higher here if you're obviously mining on a different algorithm you would choose for example randomx or cowpow depends on which algorithm you are mining depending on the hardware that you are using and this is my et hash and that is the rate i am getting 255 mega hash at the moment that would normally go up to 200 and 72 mega hash for me on those five GPUs. If you haven't seen my five GPU setup or my upgraded seven GPU setup, you can check those out in the description below. And right now it's telling me that I've already mined 4,729 safe moons. Okay, so I've already started mining that amount of safe moon. I'm taking this opportunity now to mine it although i was making around five euro more after electricity when mining ethereum directly but i'm going to give this a chance and mine it since it is still quite new on the unminable pools although i'm still mining on the et hash algorithm i'm going to be getting paid out in safe moon so since it's still early days i'm going to take the opportunity to try and mine it do bear in mind to get paid out for safe moon you need to have a balance of at least 7 million coins and as we saw earlier it was telling me that here I would be making around 9.6 million safe moon coins per day at the time of this video. So I just wanted to make this quick guide. It's very easy to do. If you have any issues do hit me down in the comments and I will do my best to help you out. Before I go I'm just going to show you what my profits would actually be like. So I'm just going to copy what I am going to make according to the website. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to times that by the price of today, which is this number here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that in the calculator right there. And that's telling me I'm going to make around 26 euro per day. Now on Ethermine, when I was mining Ethereum directly, I was making around 30 euros a day. So that's around four euros more than I would be making by mining SafeMoon, but I'm just going to give this a shot and see how it goes. So if I deduct my electricity here, which is 550, that would come to around 20 euros and 53 cents a day for mining SafeMoon on Unminable versus around 24 to 25 euro net profit if I were to mine Ethereum directly on a pool such as Ethermine, for example. But I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see how it goes, I'll do this for around a week and gather some safe moon tokens as well. And that way I will also be diversifying my portfolio even further. So I hope that you found this video useful. As I said, if you have any issues, let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below, smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.